What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 17.0 up to iOS 17.1 or better yet iPadOS 17.0 to 17.1 using Pelrain jailbreak that was just released a couple of days ago. Now the Pelrain jailbreak is now available, you can get it and it supports iPad on iPadOS 17 and newer. Now there are no iPhones compatible with iOS 17 that support Pelrain, however there are some iPads so this does support iPadOS 17. We're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Check the program out in the link below. So to jailbreak iPadOS 17 or iOS 17 if you want, you have to go ahead and here on palray.in and get the latest version. Now this is available on GitHub, the latest version being the version 2.0.0 beta 8 dusk. And this one does bring support for 17.0 to 17.1. In order to get the jailbreak, you need to first get the proper extension, the proper file for your operating system. In my case it's going to be Mac OS and I'm going to choose the universal version and if you don't know if you have an Intel Mac or um, an Apple chip Mac you should go ahead with this one with the universal this should work on all of them but if your device is Windows for example you will not be able to find your version in here. For the moment Pelerin jailbreak does not support Windows officially. There are tools on Windows yes that allow you to create a USB bootable drive which contains a Linux a stripped down Linux with Pelerin and yeah you can dual boot that on your computer to jailbreak your device and go back to Windows. That's possible, but there's no Windows EXE file at the moment. For Linux, you have a couple of options as well in here. So at this point, really, you should choose the uh, proper version for your system. Once you get the binary, it will look something like this. You can't open it. It will open either in a notepad or whatever. So you have to give it the proper permissions. To do so, you have to write chmode plus x like this and drag and drop the file like this. There you go. Now you can see it's an executable file. We can actually execute it in terminal. So you have to drag and drop it again and open it in terminal and it says in here entering recovery mode because I have a device connected and I'm actually demonstrating this with an iPhone but the process would be the same for iPadOS 17 and for iOS and for basically anything but I don't have an iPad that supports iOS 17. So yeah the uh, actual procedure does not change. You have to put the device in DFU mode no matter what device it is. So I'm gonna do so with my device right now. Right now it says in here booting the uh, kernel which means that at this point you're device will boot and will be jailbroken. Now regardless of what kind of device you have and what version, being it iOS 16, 15 or 17, you should now be able to have the device in normal mode, but it should show basically the option to install Cilio, which is the package manager. You're going to have the Pelrain application right in a couple of seconds. So you can see even though this is an iPhone, on your iPad it would be the same even on iPadOS 17. You're going to have the Pelrain application over here and you're going to have a couple of options to install either Cilio or Zebra. I'm going to go with uh, Cilio and in your case would be install. It will download it, so you do need a Wi-Fi connection and then it will install. It says install complete and that's it. You can now open it and you should be good to go. You can install tweaks and so on. So for iPadOS this does support support iPadOS up to the latest version available, iPadOS 17.1, and you can install tweaks. The catch is that it only supports the Checkmate compatible devices, which are a very, very tiny subset of iPads. So your device should have an A11 chip or older in order to support Checkmate. And there aren't really that many devices with that kind of chip that run iOS 17. However, there are some iPads. So for those of you who do have an iPadOS 17 device that is compatible with Checkmate, that's how you jailbreak it. And you're actually quite lucky. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.